Brothers and sisters, let me use this opportunity God has blessed me with and bless you with to, to this, our service of thanksgiving to Jehovah God, who by his gracious mercy and love has sent his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. We want to be thankful to Jehovah for his love. He has loved us so much that when we were destined to die without hope, hope in the person of his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, for that act of love, we give him thanks. We thank God Christmas came because Christ came into the world. And so, with the heavenly host, I worship him, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, you, his people. And I trust that today will be a day of worship. I would think that Many of our people, after two years of not committing to the tradition of going out on Christmas Eve, they have moved to the idea that all that prevented them from out, and some of them maybe even sleeping at this time. We therefore will not be waiting for them to arrive for celebration. Of the love of God, but we will begin to celebrate Jesus who came this time of the year over 2,000 years ago. I want to welcome those who are on social media, different platforms. I want to say how privileged we are all this morning, and we are glad that you're joining in our worship. We ask you to celebrate Christ with us, for he is or makes Christmas as it is. Welcome to everyone and set time for celebration of him who is king of kings, who is Lord of lords. I call Sister Ophelia, who will be guiding our worship this morning. May the Lord and lift our spirit I want you if you're feeling down to get up and to worship God we will be here to worship God for four and a half or so and uh, we're not limiting the Holy Spirit we're giving him the place in our hearts and in our lives I ask you to worship him Bless you wherever you are get ready to worship Jehovah God God bless you. Pleasant morning to all my brothers and sisters. Boy, that morning, morning sounds a little bit poor. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning. All give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endureth forever. Let the redeem of the Lord say so, whom he had redeemed from the hand of the enemies and gathered them out of the hands from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south. And in the wilderness and in a solitary way, they found no city to dwell. 
hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted in them. They cried unto the Lord, their troubles, and he delivered them out of their distress. I'm going to ask us to rise as we lift to praise to Almighty God this morning for his goodness and his We are celebrating him this morning. And so we're going to start by singing, his name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord. Hallelujah. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. His name is wonderful. Jesus, my Lord, he is the mighty king. He's the master of everything. This morning, be glorified, be glorified, be glorified in the heavens, be glorified in the earth, be
Jesus, he's worthy. Hallelujah. Thanks, thanks. I give you thanks for all you.
exalt you above all else. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to ask Minister Muffet to come at this time and he'll be taking us to the throne of grace. Hallelujah. As we sing the song, we place you at the highest place. It's all about him this morning. About us. It's about him this morning. Hallelujah. He is the reason why we are here this morning. He has done so much for us. We are happy this morning. We place you at the highest place. be glorified in the heavens Hallelujah. be glorified in the earth Amen, Jesus. Lord God we place you at this morning Hallelujah. because thou yes, art are. mighty thou art powerful yeah. yes. Hallelujah thou art Hallelujah. victorious in yes. battle yes. and this morning God we are privileged yes, to be covered under your wings this under morning yes, Almighty God Jehovah Jesus. This morning we are in your presence. We lift up your name, O oh God. Freely cry unto you, Abba Father. Because God Almighty, you paved the way many years ago that we could be in this freedom today to worship you, to lift up your name, to honor you, to glorify your name this morning. And so, God, we are making use of this privilege to give you our word you our praise to connect with you this morning God as we invite you in our presence in our midst in our worship God Almighty you inhabit oh God Almighty this morning and we're asking you oh God that you will just fill this place fill this temple with your presence with your anointing with your glory oh God Father bless every heart that is in this place this morning those that are on Zoom and, and Facebook Live and any other platform, we pray, God, that you will just be with them right now. We're asking you, oh God, that as we proceed with the service, that, Lord God, you will just take over your own self. Oh God Almighty, bless the moderator. Open the, the ear of the moderator that she will listen to you, oh God. Father, the choir that is to sing, we pray, God, that you will just bless their voice with melody. In the name of Jesus. Lord, as the music play, oh God Almighty, may just 
coordinate with the singing and may everything just be beautiful oh god as we this morning we pray in the name of jesus for the man's servant that will come with your word oh god that you will just man him up this morning you will just anoint him oh god you will just give him the unction god to function this morning i pray in the name of jesus that the congregation be blessed this morning. Oh God, everyone that walked through these doors will return filled and feeling good, oh God Almighty, that they have come and they have received. I pray in the name of Jesus that every aspect of this morning's worship be placed into your hands. God, we leave it all to you now. Give you thanks for keeping us and into this week. Lord, may we, oh God, not just be merry as they do it out here in the world, but may we be merry in our hearts as we remember what you have done and that you did come so that we could be here today. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. Let us just worship him as we take our seat. Hallelujah. The name of Jesus. We need to put our praise on this morning. When it come on to praise in God, there is no pride in praise. When you come on to praise in God, just let go and let everything you have in you worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. He deserved the glory this morning. He deserved the honor and he deserved the praise. Because of him, we are here. We are going to do some business with him this morning. Hallelujah. We love him. Let us just wave our hands and just lift him up this morning. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus ask pastor to come and stand beside me with this aspect i'm going to do it a little bit different this morning and we are going to give the official welcome this morning and i'm going to allow him to be in this aspect and so we are going to welcome each and every one this morning that is present in the house of worship what better place to be on a sunday than to be in the house of worship some are outside this morning having party and having fun but that's not what christmas is about this morning it's about christ is the reason for the season this morning and so this morning i just want to take this opportunity as we stand on our feet and as we put our hands above our head first most and welcome the father the son and the holy spirit hallelujah it's a time when families get together. It's a time when we come to celebrate each other. We have persons from all over celebrating this morning. I see some of my family members that I have not seen for a very long time. And so this morning, it is my pleasure to welcome you. And first and foremost, I'm going to start from Kingston. I'm going to welcome, not because she's my own, but I'm going to welcome this morning Sergeant Edwards. She's coming all the way from Kingston. She's born in Westmoreland, living, but she has gone to Kingston. I'm going to let her stand, sir. <laughs> yes, so she's going to stand at this time. I'm going to ask Sergeant Edward, my own namesake, my sister, to stand at the put our hands together and welcome her. Praise God. When you want someone to storm the gates of heaven, just call her. I remember when she's praying, she wakes up good. That's how she pray. When she's praying, even at work, she wake up everybody. If they must sleep, they have to be awake because Sergeant Edwards is praying and she's a warrior. And so we give God thanks for the officers who has given their life to the Lord and allow God to lead them. And so we give thanks for her this morning. And I'm going to hand over to Pastor and let him take two more from here. Yeah, so I welcome my brother, Jordan, long time no see. You know, Jordan, it will be responsible for anything goes down into my stomach. Anything affect my body in a while. Jordan, I welcome you. God bless you. Then I want to welcome another Jordan. <laughs> Go by <and> flow this morning. <laughs> because I'd like to welcome Jordan Tate. 
Yes. Praise the Lord. And I see him. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, his cousin. You know, you got to be very careful of how you assume. Right. So nice to see you, ma'am. We just want to welcome you this morning. I see someone on my right. I have not seen for years. Yes. And I'm going to ask her to sing at me. I'm going to ask Gillette to stand. My, my, my. Come on, Gillette. Let, let's hear something from Gillette. Don't you want to hear something from her? Let me hear something from Gillette this morning. Tell us what God's doing for you while you're away. The microphone. Praise God. We love to see our families when they're back in Jamaica with us. You know, praise God. Shall we bless the Lord? Shall we give the Lord a shout of praise this morning? God has been good. If I begin to talk about the goodness of God, I wouldn't done this morning. But the mere fact that I'm alive, the mere fact that I wake up this morning and my eyes are open and I can see the splendor of a mighty God. There's so much to be thankful for this morning. So this morning, I just want to thank God for his goodness towards my life. I thank God I'm still serving God. Yes, because God is good. So just sit back and enjoy the service. I'm happy to be and to be home because this is home. Yes, this is where it begins. Amen. And it hasn't ended. Amen. I'm at another level with God. Amen. So thank you for the welcome this morning. Thank God. Amen. Amen. Oh, the Lord bless you, my sister. Ah, uh, she doc. I know she don't like to talk. So I'm not going to bring her here. But how could I not have this opportunity? Welcome, Sister Yori and Tam. Taraya. I'm going to go let Sister talk. Come here, Tam. The mic. Yeah, it's you. Yeah, man, come. Say something. Come. come, come to me. What you do? With mommy. With mommy there. In England. In Happy to have you in Jamaica. Right? Boy. Nice. It's so wonderful. You already have the tower of strength. And uh, she does not like when you talk. So I'm not going to talk. But Yori, thanks for, to the, from the, for everything you do. And we want to say thanks to the Plumbers family and to all the families this morning. Praise God. Nice to see you worshiping with us this morning. Nice to see our friends from the community worshiping with us. I'm not sure if I'm leaving out anyone. Nice to see again, Sister Nelly. Uh, Brother Porter, I'm not sure if anyone, I don't want to get myself in trouble. That's why I make sure I call pastor to stand beside me. Ah, yes. Oh, yes. How could I forget? How could I forget it? Thank you, Sister Brown. Ask ah, Sister Cora to stand. Sister Cora. Oh, it's so nice to see her this morning. Uh, uh, I never give Sister Cora a mic, you know, but I'm going to give her the mic. Come. And as she walk and stand here, Jonah, boy, uh-huh. It's so nice to see you, Sister Jonah. Uh, see, she's going out there. She is now studying. She's at the university. We want to thank our student. We want to thank God. God has been blessing her and she's scrapping all the prizes up there. And we want to be thankful. Shadeni and Doveni, so nice to see you. Welcome home. Praise God. Brother Muffet feel as if he's at home now. Amen. Amen. And Sister Brown, me can put me hand on him, although be put here ready. Good. 
Amen. Love you, Pastor. Love you too, sister. My brethren, I greetings to you. And more so, I would love everybody to be more rooted and grounded in the name of the Lord. I tell you, I God thanks. But guess what? I almost lose my sister. Maybe you know what I'm talk. But Mrs. Dusai, Barry. Me when me have some pain in my knee, and me and she sit down talking. And all me know she go down from the drug, and all me could I do. Me no know if me kneel down or me stoop down. But me get up on me lay hand and me say, Jesus, Hatoko Rabashanda. I say, I speak life and not death. I speak and not death. I say, speak life and not death. And me say, she take time and come up. Me say, Lord, you mean to say I did him, I got dead right here, so? You understand me? I'm just saying, to say that, we must be ready. Amen. Two weeks after me lie down, me say, but wait, when me did do, me did kneel down or me did stoop down. For the pain in my knee, me can't if I had to come up. But, but me fly down there because I'm my sister down there. You know, so we ought to say thanks to God. We must be watchful. God has been good to us, all of us. Amen. I soon lick the 80 and zero, eight and zero, and I'm still here. I give God thanks. And all I want to do is to be a watchman for God. And I love you. I love you. I love you all. Please remember me in your prayer and my God Amen. bless. Amen. Praise the Lord. Sister Sonia, nice to see you. Welcome back to the island. Jamaica, the only place at Christmas time. Jordan, the only place at Christmas time is Jamaica. Ah, uh, Mr. Josai. The team. Boy. Whistle. Yeah. Yes. Uh-huh. Hope. Long time I see how you do. Welcome to Jamaica. <laughs> Let me. They, well, you look at me, Mr. Josiah, boy. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Praise God. Nice to see that wonderful woman. Let's not say anything else. Let me tell you something. In America, Canada, and England, most nobody enjoying a good Christmas. That's what I was told this morning. My sister-in-law has communicated. She said the first Christmas for the many years that she's in the state. There's so much white salt on the ground. You don't know what is that. Yes, we want to thank God for sunshine. And we want to praise him for everything. Jamaica, Jamdong. Yes, we have problem. We have situations here. But Jamdong is the best place on earth and to wrap up that thank you so much my co-host and to wrap that up i just walked in nice to see her nice to see erica she just waved for me erica nice to have you sister shirley yeah janet jenny nice and then over here we have tanya right behind sister janet waving tanya nice to see everybody nice to see all the persons from the community god bless you this is your home just worship god don't, 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 don't think about anybody else. It's between you and him. Just worship him. Praise God. God bless you. At this time, we'll sing from the hymn, hymn number 172 from Worshiping Song, and it will be projected on the screen. Joy to the world. The Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. And when you find him, I'm going to ask you to rise with me as we sing lustily. Let us burn off some of the calories this morning. Let us burn off some of the breakfast, yes, that we had. The Lord has come. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him. And heaven and nature 
heaven and nature sing, and heaven and nature sing. Who rules the world? Which put hand and heaven the nations prove the glories of His love and wonders of His love and wonders. as yet we're gonna do another one joyful joyful for the hymn number two it's one of my favorite songs i love it it's a blessing to me whenever i sing it i feel joyful so i'm gonna ask you to sing with me joyful joyful we adore thee god of glory lord of love hearts on full like flowers before thee opening to of sin and sadness, sin and drive the dark of doubt away, give her of immortal gladness, immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day, all thy works we choice around earth and heaven. Sing around the center of a broken grace. Fields and forests, vales and mountains, glory meadows, flashing sea, chanting birds and flowing fountains. Welcome, rejoice. Will spring of the joy of living, ocean depth of happy rest. Father, cry for brother, all who live in love or God. Teach us how to love each other, lift us to the joy. Oh, 
you may be seated. You sound so good. You sound like a mass choir. Thank you so much. God bless you. At this time, we will look to the word. Oh, this morning comes to us from the book of St. Luke, Gospel chapter 2, our responsive reading. Reading from verse 1 through to verse 21. And Sister Dehane will read for us at this time. As you find it, I'm going to ask you to stand with me. Before she begins, after which the choir will be ministering in song. And it came to pass in those days, there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. To be taxed, expose wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. Brought forth his, her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. And, and there, there were country shepherds, shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord round about them, and they were sore afraid. And, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a savior, which is Christ the Lord. And, and this shall be a sign unto you, he and the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in the manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill toward men. And it came to pass as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see the thing which is come to pass, which the Lord had made known unto us. And they and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying, which was told them concerning this child. And, and all, all that they heard it wondered those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, and it was told unto them. 21. And the games were accomplished for the circumcising of the child. His name was called Jesus which is the name of the angel before he was conceived in him. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Save the world, wonderful counselor, bright morning star, really the valley provide. Yeah. 
scripture reading comes to us from the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 9, reading from verse 1 to verse 7. You may be seated and look on as 
Isaiah chapter 9, from 1 to verse 7. May God be pleased to add his richest blessings to the reading of his holy word. Nevertheless, the dimness shall not be such as walks in her vexation, when at first he lightly affected the land of and the land of Naphtali afterward did, did more grievously afflict her by the way of the sea beyond Jordan in Galilee of the nations. Those that walk in darkness have seen the great light, that they dwell in the land of the shadow of death, upon them had the light shine. Thou hast multiplied the nation, increased the joy, they joy before thee according to the joy in harvest, and as men rejoice when they divided the spoil. For thou hast broken the yoke of his burden and the staff of his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, as in the day of Midian. For every battle of the warrior is noise, and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be the burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, and unto is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, seventh and last, and of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. And upon the throne of David and his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will this. This is the word of the Lord. At this time, I'm going to ask you to stand with me as we lift up two high praise to the Lord. After which, I'm going to ask plumber. He's going to come and he'll be introducing the speaker for this morning. I'm going to ask you to stand at this time. And I will put and stamp our feet if you have a shoes on that is too tall and it makes you uncomfortable then you take it off because we're going to lift up the name of jesus praise god beautiful star oh beautiful star
Jesus, the Savior, is born. You've got a praise in the house. Hallelujah. Today, brethren, as we assemble to worship God, there's a very, very special person who God provided to dispense the meal that is prepared for us. This is a person, if I have to talk about in, 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 in all occasion, I would find it, I would find it difficult. This individual is the most important person, as I said, in our midst right now. This person, I have made a commitment and a covenant to serve God from an early age. It has been happening. And to know, today, I know this individual has been saying, regardless of I've reached too far. I can't turn back now. I know this individual is well-rooted and a qualified teacher who had taught at one of our most prestige, prestigious institutions in the land, specialist area being that of Spanish. I know I love foreign language. I love to hear the sound of it. Not only had this individual taught under the umbrella of the Ministry of Education, but is one of the initiator of our own NASDAQ and even institute situated on the outside of this sanctuary. Under her stewardship, there are so many of our students, young adults, have moved into college, universities, and into good jobs. Most the speaker for the day is a fully trained, pledged, set aside, ordained, and committed minister, minister of religion. One who had represented the Church of the Nazarene globally. I could just keep going, talking, and talking and talking, but it's time for the word. 
Brethren, I speak of no other person than the First Lady of the House, the Reverend Jennifer Porteous Brown, the Junior Pastor of the Church. I invite you to stand with me as we accept her. Thank you. All right, Brother P, no easy, you know. <laughs> if not easy, you know. Feliz Navidad y un prospero año nuevo a todos. Dios te bendiga, Dios les bendiga a todos. As to all. And may God bless you. Wishing for you a prosperous new year. One solitary life. He was born in an obscure village. He worked in a carpenter shop until he was 30. He then became an itinerant preacher. He never held an office, he had a family, or owned a house. He didn't go to college. He had no credentials but himself. He was only 30 years old when the public turned against him. His friends ran away. He was turned over to his enemies and was the mockery of a trial. He was nailed to a cross between two thieves. While he was dying, his executioners gambled clothing, the only property he had on earth. He was laid in a borrowed grave. But today, 19th century and gone. Today, he's a central figure of the human race. All the armies that ever marched, all the navies Killed, all the parliaments that ever sat and all the kings that ever reigned have not affected the life of man on this earth as much as that one solitary life. What a man. What a man to serve. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father in heaven, we just want to thank you that you have spared our lives to see this day. And now, Lord, as we come to reflect on your word and what you would like to be shared with your people, I stand here merely as an oracle to be used by you. And I pray, God, that as the word go forth, it will go forth with power and it will go forth with clarity. And that it will find a lodging in the of believers and unbelievers alike. Lead on now, Lord. Let self be crucified and you and be exalted in this place. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Christmas time is here. Christmas time is here. You may be asking, and you know, today is the 25th of December. On the same day that we have our worship service. Is it a coincidence? Well, I want one thing for those who may start to have little ideas running them head. Make sure you go on a talk about the 25th of December, after Jesus wasn't born on the 25th of December. I'm not here to dispute that this morning. What I am here to say and to underscore is the important thing that Jesus Christ, our Savior, was born. And whether it was the 25th of December or the 6th of January as the Hispanic, that's when they observe it baby was found whatever day our savior jesus christ was born and he is alive he is alive we don't serve 
God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Christmas, what is Christmas? It's an annual festival event in the birth of Jesus Christ. And it is primarily observed on the 25th of December, as we all know it, as a religious cultural celebration among billions of people around the world. For Christians, the true meaning, I'll say, of Christmas is the celebration of our Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the reason for the season. And if you were to look closely at what I have wearing here, it says exactly that. He is the reason for the season. So Christmas is one of the most themes of the year. We hear it sing. We hear family. We see families. Lots of families are getting together at this time of the year. And I'm so happy to see all. I wish I could just, 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 just get close and hug all of you. It's so nice to see all of you. And I'm not going to get myself in trouble because I'm not going to be calling names. But it is just so happy this morning just to connect and just to see you. So it's a time of family reunions, lots of eating, lots of drinking, merrymaking. That's how people say, well, it should not be that alone. But we know culturally that's a part of how we celebrate. You know, the gungo peas, the gungo rice and peas, and the manishwa, curry goat, and you name it, and the saril. And Nancy, we can't leave out the surreal. Yes, man. It's such a wonderful time of the year. I, this is one of my favorite times. Uh, fruit cake, Christmas pudding. Anybody make Christmas pudding this year? All right. I need to have a piece of that Christmas pudding. But as I reminisce, very much poor family but we were happy we were happy we i used to look forward to get dressed or that new shoes some of you may know mr coot who used to drive around the community how many of you know mr coot yes man my mother is once a year and we would look forward to when him drive up at the gate and we know we're going to get that new dress or the new shoes, right? Sometimes it's not both, you know, but we were happy nonetheless. We gave little Christmas gifts, presents to our friends and loved ones and simple gifts, yes. And we would sing Christmas carol on the street. I don't know how many of you remember, but I, when I used to leave church right up there, the Townhead Baptist Church, because that's where I had my beginning. And we would walk from there and we would sing carols, Christmas carols. And we went as far as George's Plain and sometimes a little beyond. And we enjoyed ourselves. I don't hear the Christmas carols anymore. Caroling and singing. We used to have good, you know, very good time, man. And I recall participating at this time of the year in Christmas plays. Christmas, and I used to get... Brother P can bear me out. Yes, Christmas plays in the church. And we would have a special Christmas program where we would, I can, we would recite poems. We'd have choral speaking. Yes, lots of songs. But one of the most, the thing that impressed me most at that time was we would do a, what we call a ribbon drill. The music, how many of you know the, yes, man, you know about the ribbon drill. Yes. Yes, man, Juliet, remember the ribbon drill. And we used to march from down the back and we have our ribbons and we form all kind of, and we have on blessed memory, Mr. Yulin, brother Yulin, Deacon Yulin, a town at Baptist church. He was the one who practiced us, you know, the choir. We had fun. Negros, we had clean fun. We had then and still today, we had tremendously high expectations of Christmas. Yes, as I said, the practice continues today. As we, later on, I know we're going to have the children participating here and the adults. 
Sunday school program. People smiling. You know, Christmas time, people just smiling, people getting along. But very often we find it is not that way it is supposed to be. As the song says, it is the most wonderful time of the year. And the happiest season for all. But for many, it can be and it is a very difficult. Why? Because something has interrupted their joy. And I was led this morning to talk about the interruptions. Those interruptions that can occur, it could be illness, it could be death, it could be a divorce, it could be separation from the one you love, it could be loneliness. A lot of things come in to interrupt Christmas. How many persons are having fun? There are those who have to contend with interruptions at Christmas. So we look to the Christmas season to be a time of perfect peace, harmony, and joy. But as we reflect on that Christmas morn today, I want to say it was not that way. The first Christmas was an interruption. You see, interruption can happen at any good time. For Mary and Joseph, it was an interruption. It was read earlier in St. Luke chapter 2 and verse 5 that Mary was espoused, traveling with Joseph. And at the time, she was, she was his espoused wife, being great with child. They were engaged to be married. And said Matthew 1 and verse 18 to 25 recalls a similar story that was read earlier on from St. Luke about the birth of Jesus Christ. And Mary, who was espoused to Joseph, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Verse 19, Joseph, her husband, reacting. And a number of things took place. So I want to say like Christmas, we are told that Mary and Joseph were in and it's like Christmas is supposed to be a wonderful time as you look forward to getting married. But it was during this period of engagement that the angel appeared to Mary and told her that she would miraculously, as a virgin, conceive, gave birth to the Son of God. That was joyful news indeed. Yet, what an interruption. How, I mean, she explained this pregnancy to Joseph. Would he believe her? Would he be willing to take on this responsibility? Have they never been together? They've never slept together? They've never had sex? This was not in their plans at all. They were being as some the New International Version puts it. And a betrothal in those days was an ancient engagement. It was much more binding than what we call an engagement today. And such an a betrothal, this kind of engagement, only end with a divorce or death could put it to an end. It was that serious. So it was not just that end. I mean, it was a serious thing. You know, and the Jewish, a Jewish marriage, let me just back up here, involved three steps. One, the two families come 
and they agree with the union. So families are important. There are some young people nowadays who like to just pick up and then do their own thing and then not, they not consult somebody talk to them. But that's very important that families meet and the union, it is very important. Two families agree to the union, Jewish. A public announcement is made, hence the term we hear in the Bible, they were pledged, engaged. And thirdly, the couple, and then they live together. The, as I said, the only way out of this was divorce. And so when Joseph heard that Mary's child, he had the right to have her either divorced or stoned to death because of infidelity. But what was Joseph, Joseph's response? At first, I mean, he didn't, how, how could he believe her? His plans for a happy home with the woman he loves were dashed before his eyes. His life as well as powerfully interrupted. And if we're not careful, our response to, to an interruption can send us down the wrong path. Joseph almost went down the wrong path when he discovered Mary's pregnancy. He couldn't buy her story about birth. And even today, we have skeptics who are saying they don't believe in any virgin birth. As much as Joseph loved Mary, there was nothing to do. The announced pregnancy by Mary to Joseph was absolutely not in their plans yet here verse 19 of said matthew chapter one joseph being a just man and not willing to make her a public example he was minded to put her away privately he was a good man he didn't want to harm, harm her embarrass her and so this was Joseph's human response to a powerful interruption and I want you to hear me well men you need to take a page out of Joseph's book you notice how him treat the lady because we live in a time when men now treat the lady right Say not some of the ladies that treat the men I'm right, you know, but too often we're hearing on the news where hmm, head a cut off, palm, gone, all kind of things. Sometimes because the ladies say, okay, I've had enough and I'm stepping out. If me can't have you, nobody now get. And then what we hear, not so Joseph, he was a proper man. What was Mary's response? And in St. Luke chapter 1 and verse 8, we are told when the announcement, when the angel actually told her what was happening to her, the angel identified himself. And in verse 38, Mary said, and her, as a matter of fact, her cousin Elizabeth was also visiting, which was a confirmation of what was taking place, you know, and she also announced that she was sick and, and, and so on. And um, Mary said, her response, behold, the handmaid of the Lord, let it be according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. And not only did she stop there, but went on in a song of praise that today we know as the Magnificat. I remember we used to recite it years ago when she said, Blessed art thou among women. Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost and she spake out, Elizabeth said, 
among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb and whence is this to me that the mother of my lord should come to me and blessed is he that believed for there shall be performed those things and here is Mary's response in her song of praise my soul doth magnify the Lord and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior he hath regarded the low estate of this handmaiden for behold from henceforth all generation shall call me blessed for he has done a mighty thing great things and holy is his name and she went on and on and on in a song of praise she doing accepting yeah. accepting yeah. this thing which had come to pass yeah. many of us would have frowned and maybe there was some women maybe would have tried to do a little abortion because it's an fitting man and me pregnant well how may i explain it but mary accepted her condition I am God's humble. That's what she said. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, often an interruption gives can bring us a kind of a knee-jerk reaction. We make decisions if we were better informed, we would not make. But we must be careful that when we face an interruption, we don't just react according to our fears and our feelings. I want to suggest this morning, like Mary, the key to have an interruption is to get God's take on it. Did you hear me? The key to handling interruptions in our life is to get take on it. Because God, we look on the outward, but God looks on the inside. Thankfully, God rescued Joseph. I can imagine Joseph having learned of Mary's situation. I said, as he would toss and turn in bed at night, trying to decide what to do. Angel appeared and spoke with him. And he decided that he would not be divorcing. He had a changed mind. He was going to take Mary as his wife and help raise this miraculous child. It takes faith. It takes faith to do that. It takes courage to do But Joseph had gotten God's perspective of his interruption at that time. When you encounter interruption, whatever it may be, I say, don't react according to your own feelings and emotions. But you need to remember what Proverbs 3 and verses 5 to Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to thine own understanding in all thy ways. Acknowledge him and he shall thy path. He will guide you on the right path. And I want us to remember three words. Whenever we encounter option, the first is prayer. Thank God. The first thing to do when your life is interrupted, stop and pray. Pray for God. Pray that God's will be done. Pray for courage. Pray for help. When you look to God, he will help you. That's why the psalmist David in Psalms 121 will look uh, to the hills uh, from whence cometh my help. Uh, my help uh, comes from the Lord. Our help uh, comes from the Lord Almighty. So prayer is the first step when we encounter interruption. The next step is perspective. That's three Ps. Put the in, in perspective. Put it in the proper perspective. Is it really that bad? Is it really that bad, this thing that has happened? You know, sometimes which, sometimes I heard in recent times, so many persons trying to, I mean, they're at the airport, I mean, anxiously getting to see their relatives, but then there's a delay. Something happened to the plane. Sometimes they don't want to tell you and the flight has 
to, sometimes you have to wait until the next day. Sometimes you miss your flight. It's an interruption in the plan that you had. But whatever it is, I want us at all times it's in perspective because every delay is for a purpose. I want to tell you that. Every delay, I have learned that traveling so many times and sometimes because of ice and whatever and so on, you can't, if you went and, and if the pilot forced the issue, you know what could happen? Never, never be disappointed with the delay. Sometimes you're traveling and something happens, you don't, you think, and it doesn't mean that you're gonna have to speed and try to catch up time. Take your own time, take it yeah. in stride. At the perspective, put it in perspective. Put it in the proper perspective, the interruption, whatever shape or form it may be. How long will it really be important? Difference, and that's a very crucial question you ask. I mean, this interruption, what difference will it make in eternity? So we need to really hear the facts and look at it at different angles and see how best we can make good out of a bad with the help of God. Then thirdly, so it's not just prior and perspective, but the third one is providence. I want you to keep in mind, God in his providence, he is still in control of life. God is in control. You see all the mayhem taking place in Jamaica. And then what next? What's going to happen? Believers, I want to tell you, God is still in control. Jehovah Shama, the God who knows our circumstances, the God who is there with us. Jehovah Shama is with us. Emmanuel, God with us. He knows. He knows. And he's in control. Nothing can happen to you without the leave and the notice of our heavenly father. He still has all the years head numbered. Interruptions, let me tell you, can at times positively redirect our lives. I want to talk to some people this morning. This was true of Joseph and Mary. Their plans were interrupted, but oh, what an interruption. Can you imagine a more wonderful privilege are a more challenging responsibility than to be the human parents of the son of God. That was awesome. It was worth it. Direction their future took was not what they had planned, but it was so much better. So much better. Have you ever considered that God could do that kind of thing in your life? Not that you would be made the parents and son of God. That God would take what seems to be an interruption in your life, an unforeseen problem, and use it to set your life on a new and a better path. What about that? I want you to think about it today. Whatever interruption you may be enduring right now, why not look at it in a different light? And ask God. Are you using this to do something great in my life? Are you using this interruption to redirect my life for better? Then begin to look for the marvelous things that God will do. Whatever interruption you may be experiencing this Christ, there is one thing you can do. And that you need to do is to stop and give God thanks for Jesus. And as you praise and as you thank God, even in the midst of your circumstances, remember that something, that some peace, that peace that Jesus came to give at Christmas time. Finally, let me remind us all today that Christmas. It's not just about a baby in a manger. Yes, we reflect on the time when he was born and the circumstances surrounding his birth. No room for them in the 
and so on and the angels the the birth the, the, that was the angels announcing the birth of the shepherds in the field and the wise men who follow the star christmas is not just about that baby angel christmas is still relevant yeah. we must remember at this time that we are having in and a vital and we ought to be having a living and a vital relationship with the lord and savior the accounts in the old testament recalls the children of israel every time god did something for them good they forgot what god did for them and so yes to we see a lot of hedonistic behavior partying and so on Sometimes you can't even sleep well in your bed at night because of the loud noise, the noise pollution, we call it. Way until the wee hours of the morning, people are forgetting God. It's all about me and it's all about celebrating and living it up. In Merrymaking. But if we can only picture Jesus in swaddling clothes, I'm telling us, if we continue like this, we are missing the true man Christmas. What does Jesus want from us today? He longs for a dynamic and a living relationship with men. If Christ is kept on the outside, then something must be wrong with the inside. No wonder the Christmas carol puts it, God rest Rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day. What, did, what was he born for to save us all from Satan's power? When we are gone astray, tidings, oh tidings of comfort and joy, comfort. It's good news at Christmas time. The name of Jesus must be celebrated. Jesus must be kept center, central to all our. Jesus is the Greek form of the Hebrew Yeshua, which is the anglicized Joshua. It is a form of conjunction of two Hebrew words, Jehovah and sets free, delivers, serves, rescues, saves, gives victory. Jesus means Jehovah rescues and gives victory to his people. Jesus, the of all the world. We are told the angel said his name shall be called Emmanuel, God with us. So Christmas should remind us of the hope salvation that Jesus brings to a lost world a world lost in sin the prophet Isaiah spoke of that dead for our transgressions he was bruised for iniquities the chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his stripes we are here let us choose this Christmas to remember the Christ of Christmas, despite the interruptions and the challenges that we are facing, because as long as life, we're going to have problems, we're going to have obstacles, we're going to have challenges, we're going to have interruptions. But allow God to lead and to guide. And my last word to you this morning is every time we celebrate Christmas, we need to remember that he is coming back again. Christmas was the first advent. But every time we remember he's coming into this world, remember after he went away, and right I say he went away not to stay, he's coming back again. Church, he is coming back again. And when he comes back, he's coming to find who are prepared, people who are ready to meet him, people who have accepted him as Lord and Savior and allow him to direct their life. Ready. Today can be your D-Day. I'm going to invite our senior pastor to come. And if you're here this 
close in prayer for you. If you're here this morning and you want today, the 25th of Christmas, to be your D-Day, you want to allow Christ to take control of your life as a Lord and Savior because you're not happy with where you are. You're not happy with the circumstances that are facing you. You can't go through life anymore, any further without him steering your ship. Altar is open. You can stand right where you are. If you're on the Zoom platform, you can just raise your hand this morning. Jesus is here. Your needs. And if you're captive this morning, he can set you free. Jesus is here. Right now. Oh. Jesus, Jesus right now, uh, not as a baby, Jesus, you let him set the captive free, oh, Jesus is here right now, do we have any one person who wants to say yes, Lord, Jesus, Oh, Jesus, is here right now. He's here to meet your needs and save the captain. Oh, Jesus, is here right now. Can we do that for us one more time, please? Oh, Jesus. I don't know as we close this service we'll be receiving from you your tithes and offerings but that is not even as significant as your relationship with jesus christ this is spoken to some people as been led by the spirit who have been having interruptions in your life Know what is the level or the cause of interruption? You've had some good plans for life. You could see where life was going. You're very happy, it makes you excited. But things has happened in your life which has slowed down the progress of your life, and you're wondering, Lord, how am I gonna deal with what I know? Not what I believe may happen. Maybe it is a sickness. Oh. It's now slowing you down. Interrupting your plans. Interrupting your program. Maybe it is a relationship. Maybe it is, it is just something in your life. Something that is just talking at your life. Something that is just causing you to be down on those hours. Joseph said, it is hard to take. Oh, said this is hard to take after I have waited for so long this is now what happened to me oh, but they know that they could trust a God who spoke and this morning I believe that God is saying there are some situation in your life which you are battling with and you are unable to deal with it all by yourself. <coughs> I am here with you and I want to assure you that I will stand by you and help you to overcome. 
But maybe you need, you have been praying for yourself. You've been seeking God for yourself. But you just need somebody else to pray with you and for you. Maybe this morning, is, could you stand right where you are? Identify yourself before the Lord. I huh. want to bring you to God in my prayer. Just where you are. I really need your prayer. I really need your support. There's a situation in my own personal life, Lord, that I could not handle. You might be surprised, but as your pastor, my life has been severely interrupted. I can't go down. Because if I go down, then you will be down too. But I remember when my son came to me. And he said, Daddy, my life has been. <coughs> My life has been severely interrupted. What I fear most in my life happening. The thing that, Daddy, that I ask you to pray about and the thing that get me, all of us excited, it is now being torn apart. Daddy, I cannot take it. Even now, I hardly know how to handle it. God has given me the words of encouragement. That is the Interruption. Interruption. <coughs> but God said, I never leave. And by you. God knows what you are going through. And God understands it. You had not planned for it. You didn't plan for it because you did not know. That it was going to happen. If you knew, then you'd have planned for it, but you just didn't know. It was too, it was too nice for you to have planned for it. But God knows it all. You're going to trust Him to bring you. Standing in your presence are persons like myself. Yes, Lord. Whose aspiration, whose plan for their lives, the joy, the peace, Amen. have been in. They look forward, like myself, to happy times for yes. the rest of their lives. Yes, yes, one yeah. situation they are <laughs> enter upon relationship they are enter upon <laughs> careers oh god with enthusiasm they enter <laughs> with trust and hope but now god they have to face the reality that what was it and they have to go through life not certain what is going to be at the end of the tunnel. Lord, I ask you for grace. I ask you for strength. There are those whose, whose they, they are so healthy, was so strong. Everything seemed to be just all right, oh God. But little did they know that there was something on growing on the inside or on the outside of their plans. Have mercy, Lord. 
the pogroms, the Jesus. aspiration. I, I, Lord, don't know. Because of that yes. illness, yes. because of that tumor. Oh, God, that will mm. now reveal itself. Oh, yes, Lord. Is yes, interrupted. Lord, pray. Mm -hmm. Lord, there are those <laughs> such great family. And it seemed that everything would have been all right. Life, yes. oh God, has now brought them to a standstill. Standstill, Lord. And they are wondering, God, 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 this yes. was not how it was planned. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Yes. Yes, Lord. That is true. Mm. Mm. Lord, he prays. Mm. Oh, God, God of love, yeah. God of mercy, please yes. intervene. Please, intervene. Lord. Intervene. Lord. Yes. intervene. 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 See the Amen. tears. See the cry. Oh, holy God yeah. of your children and of your people. Yes, Lord. Hey, Lord. Lord. Jesus. Lord. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Mm. Amen. 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 Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Yes. yes, Lord. Look at the joy. Look at yes. the peace. Look at the great moments. Mm -hmm. Today, God, it's like the light has turned darkness. It's like the clear water, it's now become muddy. Yes. It seems like life now, with mm -hmm. its charm and its beauty, now becomes sour. And all of the yes. is pathetic. Oh God, please. Yes. Watch please, over Lord. your children. Amen. Let them know that in King Jesus. Yes. There is still hope. Yes. There is still hope. Still there hope, is still Lord. hope. Yes, there is Lord. still hope. Lord, yes, some of Lord. us are not crying today. Praise. Some of us cannot talk about what is going on in our lives because others might just use it as a mm -hmm. weapon on our yes. back. Ooh, but we're going through yes. it, Lord. Yes, Lord. Life is not very pretty. Situation mm -hmm. is not pretty, Lord. Mm -hmm. But we have a God. Mm -hmm. We have a Jesus. Yes. We have a Jesus who said, cast your cares upon on me. me, care for you. So, Lord, I place all the situations, mm -hmm. the interruptions into mm -hmm. your hand. And I yeah, pray that thou Lord. bring light where darkness have encroached on. Yes. And allow that as we leave church today, we will go with this peace in our heart. Mm -hmm. That, Lord God, peeping out of the dark tunnel, mm -hmm. there is a ray yes. of light. Amen. I'm going to trust him, and I'm going to mind him. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to take matters into my hands. Right. I'm going to trust him. Whatever Amen. he says, yes. I'll follow his leading Amen. in Jesus name. Name. I want to say expressed how are that you were able to come and worship the Lord with us today. I am excited that God loves you of God. And this is Christmas. Today is Christmas Day. You could have refused to come to church. You have your family and others at home with. And you could have refused to come to church. But you know what happened? You came. You didn't care what it was, but you came. 
I don't know, I want to say something here. Something just hit my mind. I know it will be an interruption, another interruption to the Sunday school department. I know it's another interruption, and I know that I, I might be severely criticized for it. But I think that after the offering, I'll say it. That means you will not hold back the offering, you will give it. So I'm going to ask the officers to come forward. Brother Durbin, come back to the mic and to. Uh, I'm going to ask them to stand and I'm going to ask them to give us a Christmas song. Matter of fact, and uh, while the offering is being taken, I'm calling the Sunday school superintendent to come right here beside me. I want to say something. I mean, when I'm going to say. Are we ready? Yes, sir. Let me tell you about a story about a little tiny baby. He was born in a major. I But I'm going to make the sad news known. Amen. Lord, receive us the offering that your children have given. We thank you for the gift, the love gift that is given to the church so that the church can use it for your kingdom. We pray you pronounce and multiply your blessing and multiply it as we carefully use it for the cause for which it was in Jesus' name. Amen. Remain standing. Thanks to those who supported and those who gave and those who had the mind to give towards the Christmas given or the charity. My, those in America who have seen it and other places across the world, they are saying, Burn Savannah Church of the Nazarene, we are proud of you. And thank you who have made this possible. You will see it sometime. 
Here's the announcement. It saddened your heart, but it gladdened you. I have to take into consideration the fact that many people from across the world gather for today to be with family. And we have taken some of your time already. And therefore, respect for your time and for you to spend extra time with your family. The Sunday school program for this evening is canceled. Next week we have. Shut me now. Have I done well? the Lord and so as you go home I want you to celebrate every moment of the day with your finally Mr. Dasai yes man did you know that when I needed money labor and time to build this church that the school and everything went into his account. At that time, he didn't have any money. Well, he doesn't even have no. <laughs> but I crape out everything that could be. Sister Barrel couldn't stop it because his heart was made up and mine was made up. And we build this church. Amen, 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 amen. I don't know if you remember all of that, but I want to say children, the grandchildren and relatives, we continue to appreciate your father and your mother for the sacrifice that they have made. And when I finish this, I want Mr. Desai to know that he is supposed to be standing by me at the pulpit. Amen. <laughs> For those who did not know, he used to teach religious education. So, he ought to have what he learned then. And so, Mr. Desai, the Lord is going to rod you hard too. <laughs> Unless you come back and you he wants you to be. be. Amen. Your children will be extra proud. They are so proud of you now, but they're extra proud. They will turn on TV and every time okay, when you preach the word. God bless you all. The Lord bless you. Sister Pauline, uh, is, 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 is it there? I don't know if it's there, but she just wants to say hello to you. See that there? She wants to say hello to you before you go. Good morning. The pleasure is mine this morning to send Christmas greetings to my church family. Very special Christmas greetings to my pastor, Reverend Lionel Brown and Sister Jennifer Brown. Greetings to the officers of the church and to my class leader, Sister Melis. Also special greetings to the musicians and the praise teams. Merry Christmas to my good friend, Sister Millie, Mada, and Sister Selma Bowling, Brother Leon, and Papa Bowling. Special Christmas greetings also to my shut in friends, Sister Gerzel Gordon and Sister Edna Anderson. If somebody could please tell them I say Merry Christmas. And Christmas greetings also to all the foreigners who are in church today. It was such a pleasure to see Sister Lurleen Williams last week and Brother Port and Sister Nellie and Melissa and Deshaun. I am sure there are others this morning. You have yourselves a Merry Christmas and Merry Christmas also to all the unsaves who are in church this morning and members of the community who are not members of the church. I want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. 
and I want to remind you that Jesus Christ, he was born not for the righteous, but for the unsaved. So I am asking you, please, this year, don't let this year finish and you don't own him up for yourself. All of you, and I wish for everybody a Merry, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Bye. Bye-bye. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. All right, we're going out, so please stand, everyone. Let me tell you about a spring. God bless you. Come on now. I Joanne and her sister.